Well, well, apparently this guy is going to tell you about his 330 days on the carnivore diet. Apparently, surprised he hasn't died yet. Heart disease, heart attack, stroke, all that butter making beef. Today we're talking about what I learned on 330 days on the carnivore diet. And make sure you stay till the end because I will give you the best tip for being healthy that you've ever heard. I guarantee you that. Look at that. <laughs> the sun's all bright. Get some vitamin D into your life. I've always got a little depressed in the winter. And I've found, uh, you know, if I take vitamin D and get out and exercise, which doesn't look like I exercise a lot, <laughs> but um, get out and exercise and get some sun when I can, it uh, ends up being good for the soul. Hey everybody, it's Aaron from the Kilby Life, bringing you another Kilby Life video. Today I'm going to be talking about my carnivore diet and take you along on some of the things I've learned on 330 days in the carnivore diet. I've learned that my healing has taken way longer than I thought it was going to, and maybe that's part of the problem. Going into the carnivore diet, I lived my life in easy mode. I was Captain Shortcut. I was always looking for the easy way out and just living life in easy mode. I honestly thought 30 days on the carnivore diet, I was gonna be healed. I thought all my type two diabetes problems, my blood pressure, my weight, all the things in my life that were ailing me and I was concerned about would be healed in 30 days. Well, that did not happen. I don't know why I thought my body could heal within 30 days, but I think I might have been blind to the reality of the task ahead of me. So the other night I was sleeping. <laughs> okay, the other night I was sleeping and I had a dream that I was talking with myself and I was talking to myself about diet and carnivore diets and, and I was having a conversation with myself and this person talking to me that was myself was saying, hey, guess what? It's gonna take you two years to heal. I was like, two years? I'm, I'm coming up on 11 months. Then one year, two years, you mean 30 days turn into 90 days that turn into six months is gonna turn into a year, is gonna turn into two years of me on the carnivore diet for me to actually get the healing I thought I could have in 30 days? Well, dreams are weird and a trip and you gotta take them all with a grain of salt, but it really started me thinking about how mental dieting is, how mental the process of wrapping your mind around a diet and getting healthy is. I really thought in my naivety that 30 days was all I was going to need to get healthy. And in this dream, two years. Is it going to take me two years to get healthy? I will have success in two years, but I'm also experiencing success right now. I have not given up. I'm still going. I'm working towards a goal. Success is happening right now. I am doing the work. The reality is, is I have had a lot of really tough days on this diet. A lot of mental things to work through. A lot of tough days, but I've also had a lot of good days. And you are going to struggle if you take your health seriously. If you are running towards a goal in health through diet, you are going to have hard days and you will struggle. We all do. Learning that perfection is the enemy of good. Learning that I am worth working on. Learning that my health directly impacts the people in my life. I can serve them more. I can even love them better when I take the time to invest in my health and not give up on myself. I'm a better friend. We all have different challenges and paths that we're walking. We all have different motivations and passions, but we all currently have breath in our lungs and the ability to change. Maybe the change will happen fast. Maybe the change will happen as fast as you change in your underwear, but maybe the change will take the rest of your life. We got to remember that the journey is the blessing. The journey is the destination. 
and our life is an adventure. There's gonna be hills and valleys, twists and turns, up and downs, good days and bad days, but they're all worth living to their potential. Not dwelling on yesterday, but focusing on what we could do better tomorrow. I don't care how long it takes me to get healthy. Not anymore. I don't care how long it takes me to get healthy. Healthy. The absence of disease in my life. But what I really have learned is that not giving up on ourselves is the most healthiest thing we can do. The disease of the mind. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully you are blessed and encouraged by what I brought to you today. Got you thinking about your diet and the mental aspect and how valuable you are and how valuable the people in your life are and what you can do for yourself and them just to live a better, more successful life. I know there's a lot of people that watch these Kill Me Life videos that are considering the carnivore diet or people that are on a carnivore diet or a lion diet or a keto diet. I know there's people that are low carb. I know there's people that have been on this journey of their health for a long time. And I know that you have a lot of good hacks or I don't even want to call them hacks. I want you to tell us what you learned about health. I want you to write down in the comments the things that you learned on your journey and your adventure about health that can bless someone else today. Honestly, I'd love to share some of these stories on an upcoming video. All right, guys, it's family time. Yeah, I've been thinking about how to bring this to everybody. There's a lot of people on the internet saying, support us, support this channel, buy this, buy that. And there's a lot of noise out there. I'm one of those people, I love helping everybody, but I cannot do everything for everybody. But I tried to do, for one, what I wish I could do for everybody. But I just felt the conviction that I should put it out there. Hey, we started a Patreon in case anyone wanted to help us on our mission over here at the Kilby Life. And the mission is really just to be healthier and bring educational videos and inspire people to be healthier in their lives and to move forward and take a hold of their journeys and be their advocates and just cheerlead over here at the Kilby Life. It's, it's not just a channel to me anymore. It's a mission for me. Well, apparently this guy has a Patreon and apparently he has a website and apparently he's got all these things that you can shop and his merch and yeah. I wonder if he's ever gonna put me on that shop. <laughs> Kyle.